As I'm sure you've already heard, the Artifact Closed Beta has been open to key holders this last Sunday. Today, we will discuss several features and our thoughts on the game and the client. Valve is no stranger to developing games with their lineup of critically acclaimed franchises such as Half-Life and Portal, and it shows with Artifact. Everything, from detailed voice-acted lore bits on every card to the information-dense deck builder, has clearly been made by people who know what they're doing and with a careful attention to detail. Mousing over any keyword or specific terminology provides an apt description, during both gameplay and anywhere in the deck builder. During gameplay, mousing over any hero stat provides a thorough list of where every value addition or subtraction came from. Advanced information like when the card in the opponent's hand was drawn is readily accessible from the get-go, and without the need of any third-party applications. The client's color scheme of swirling cosmos and shifting constellations nicely complements the specific genre of fantasy that Dota is, and gives off the feeling of mystery and endless possibilities. Valve has commissioned industry leaders for their card art, employing many favorites from Magic the Gathering and Hearthstone, including Lake Hurwitz, Magali Villeneuve, and Darkin. A consistent style, including even some hand-painted pieces, is noticeable between arts, but it is not as rigid of a consistency and style as it is in games like Hearthstone. The game reportedly runs very well on older machines, and personally I have had no issues beyond some rare frame hiccups. Even with complicated and dense board states, the frame rate holds itself. If you worry about your machine not being good enough to handle artifact, know that Valve has provided a game screen render quality slider, a welcome addition for fine tuning. The rest of the settings pane is much more extensive than in any other digital card games, and includes six different sliders for audio and a handy anonymous mode checkbox for those that would like to have their names hidden during matchmaking. This beta period, which lasts until the game's release on the 29th, has the Steam Market disabled. This means that currently the only way to get cards is through opening packs. Fortunately, the pack opening sequence is very enjoyable and includes a satisfying mouse over flip effect while playing the voice line of the first card that you reveal. Coming from other digital card games, it does feel much better to open 12 cards in each pack rather than fewer. Our personal experience with the card rates has been pretty decent. Not many duplicate rares, but a few duplicate heroes. Unfortunately, you can currently open cards and packs that are included in your starter deck, but Valve has recently announced they will be implementing a system that will allow you to mass convert unwanted cards into event tickets. This should mitigate the problem, but has the unwanted effect of raising the cost of cheap common cards in the market. Artifact's main gameplay modes are separated into categories, named Casual Play and Expert Play. The primary difference between is cost and rewards, free entry and no rewards for casual play, and ticket entry and prizes for expert play. Five out of the six game modes between the two settings have you commit to a set number of games in the mode, winning five before losing two. Reportedly, there is a hidden MMR in all game modes to ensure that everyone has a fair play experience throughout. The Featured tab houses the current rotating special game mode. Call to Arms is the name of both the first set and the current featured event. This game mode has you pick one of six, quote, powerful pre-constructed decks and play against other players racking up the best win streak before losing a game. This was a very good first featured event for people in the beta and for people at launch, as it is a great way to get started playing with many different cards and begin thinking about constructed. Featured events are a welcome idea to keep the game fresh and perhaps took some inspiration from Hearthstone's successful Tavern Brawl mode. A good start for Artifact, but time will tell how creative Valve will be with new game mode ideas. Tournaments have been described as a big feature of the game, and have even been used by Valve in marketing to promote Artifact. While the tournament maker doesn't let you do absolutely everything you can think of, it does have a good array of choices that should please the general crowd. Valve promises that it will let you run draft tournaments in the future so all the primary game modes will be there to play. Tournaments are a very exciting feature and hopefully will serve to help bring the community together and playing. Overall, we are very happy with Artifact's release. The gameplay is refreshingly complex and deep enough that it feels like there is always something to learn with each game. The client includes everything you could want from it and has set some fantastic groundwork for many possible future sets and game modes. The animation, artwork, and sound design is incredibly polished and gives a premium feeling to the whole experience. We are very excited for the future of Artifact and look forward to providing you guys with more scripted and unscripted videos moving forward. If there is some specific type of video or some form of gameplay you would like to see from us, let us know in the comments and subscribe to stay up to date. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.